name Shalom. Shalom. First and foremost, we like to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, Rakakadash. Double honors unto our apostles and elders of Great Millstone and Rule Well. Much peace and blessings to all you sense of Akimah and Darius, pushing this 100% true. With all sincerity, faith, and with charity. With the brothers from the Great Millstone Miami camp, coming back with another lesson to the spirit and power of Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. Alright, uh, go on, this is edifying to the elect. We just want to go right into uh, the times that we're living in, okay? This truth being spread abroad through the, throughout the four corners of the earth, okay? Uh, like the scriptures say, have they not heard? Okay? Like Yahweh Shai told us when, uh, when he told his disciples the different signs and things to watch out for, uh, you know, towards his coming. We read, what's that, Matthew 24. Uh, Luke 21, okay, one of those things, major things the Lord said was that this gospel will be preached throughout the four corners of the earth, and then shall the end come, and that's exactly what we're seeing, that's exactly what we're witnessing, man, also tells you Revelation 14 chapter how those angels were holding back that destroying wind from, you, you, you know, uh, up until that very last man of, of the 144,000 is sealed. Okay, and as we can see, this truth is being pushed out more. You got different jakes waking up throughout the earth. Different camps is popping up. Okay, so uh, like Revelation 12 and 12 said, man, this devil know he got a short time. So that's how we know we're getting ready to get up out of here. All right, we ain't got too much left. Here in Babylon the Great, so what type of spirit uh, for us to be in, man? Hasting in the day of Yahweh Bashem Yahushai, doing the work, being on fire, okay? Why? Because our work is is not in vain, all right? So with that, man, we're just going to uh, get right into it. And go oh, and it's sad if anybody uh, got something, you go ahead, Kawhi. Right, I got it, Kawhi. It's um, Second Andrew chapter 9, starting verse 1. And he answered me then and said, Measure thou the time diligently in itself, and when thou seest part of the past, I mean the signs past, which I have told thee before, then shalt thou understand that is this very same time where in the highest we begin to visit the world which he made. Right. So measure the time diligently in itself. The only people that's able to do that are the, the are the ones that have that that eyes out, that have the truth, that the Lord opened up their eyes. And, and, and gave them the gift of faith. Mm -hmm. Okay, the testimony of Yahweh Shai is the spirit of prophecy. That's right. Okay, the Lord gave us the different signs and different things to watch out for in order to, to measure at what point of the movie we're in. Because we, we ain't we in nothing but the Lord's movie. We're living out the story that the Lord wrote before the foundation of the earth. So everything that's getting, uh, you know, that's taking place on the earth is prophecy. And one of those main prophecies is that, uh, you know, this truth would, would go throughout the four corners and it would be being pushed to such a point where this devil that's currently ruling, Esau, Edom, starting with the small hats, they're going to have to make that move. They're going to have to do something to, to come up against this truth. Okay, but as the scriptures say, it's nothing that can be... If you can do nothing against the truth before the truth. That's right. All right? Like, that's not? Yeah, mm -hmm. on that Matthew 24. You can bring it up. Call this the book of Matthew, chapter 24, verse 3. And as he sat upon Mount of Olives, the disciples came, and five of them were rock. Wait, rock. The disciples came unto him privately, saying, Tell us when shall these things be, and what shall be the sign of thy coming and of the end of the world? And Yahweh shall answer and said unto them, Take heed that no man deceive you. For many shall come in my name, saying, I am a Mashiach, and shall deceive many. And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that ye be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass. But the end is not yet. For nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom. And there shall be famines and pestilences and earthquakes in diverse places. All these are the beginning of sorrows. Right. So where we at right now? It said all these these things will happen, but the end is not yet. It's just the beginning of sorrows. That's right. So that's where we at. We've seen all those things. Right. Therefore, we rejoice it because we've seen all those things happening. Where the Lord spoke of wars, we see war right now in Ukraine with Russia. 
Okay, they say uh, American troops now uh, uh, on the ground. Okay, mm. so uh, these different nations jockeying for position right now. You know, World War Three is prophesied. It's going to come to pass because the word of the Lord is faithful and true. Right. So we seen these things come to pass. Pestilence. We just had the Royal Crown, man, the 19th. Mm. That's a pestilence. Mm. We seen these things. Earthquakes in diverse places. We saw we saw those things. When the brother read, uh, uh, Kabai read uh, Second Corinthians, it's like in Second Ezra nine. Okay, it speaks about uproars of the people. We've been seeing uproars of the people in the last months and weeks. Okay, uh, Sri Lanka, uh, Panama, Haiti, some Central American countries, man. Okay, uh, the Yellow Vest over there in France, even over here, the United States, man. We've been seeing these things, so. We see that the prophecies are jumping off of the pages, man. Literally speaking. You see? So what you just read, man, <laughs> we're well, we confident in that. Because we see prophecy going forward. And what it said, all of these are the beginning of sorrows. Right. That's right. So expect things to get a whole lot worse. Mm -hmm. we, ex we, we expect and we know that things are going to get a whole lot worse. Mm -hmm. So we preparing our minds. You got uh, Simona? No, I got another one. It's, it's a... Uh, Read a little more on that. Calm. Verse 9. Then shall they deliver you up to be afflicted, and shall kill you, and ye shall be hated of all nations for my name's sake. And then shall many of so like, yeah. and then shall many be offended, and shall betray one another, and shall hate one another, and many false prophets shall rise and shall deceive many. Right, so it said, and then shall ye be taken up, okay, and hated uh, by all men, if you paraphrase it for, for his name's sake. Mm -hmm. So this truth, those of us that are in this truth, especially you that's been going out on the streets, teaching, putting on the videos on YouTube, all right, preaching and prophesying, expect for Esau to, to come after you, okay? We also expect, it says in Isaiah 59 chapter, of course, when the enemy shall come in like a flood, mm -hmm. the spirit shall raise up a standard against them. But we, ex we, we know that Esau is going to come after. That's, that's the next step after, uh, you know, in the order of events, in the, in the sequence of, of events, the chronological order. Mm -hmm. It says all these are the beginning of sorrows. And then it says, you know, before, you think, before things get really bad, expect for them to lay your hands on you. Mm -hmm. So that's at the point where we're getting ready to go right mm -hmm. now. And it's, it's obvious if you look out what's the biggest things on the news right now. Okay, uh, so-called anti-Semitism and, and who they want to paint as the face of anti-Semites is, is, is Negroes, especially mm -hmm. Negroes that call themselves Jews. Mm -hmm. Which that's that's Judah. That's our, those are the real Jews. Mm -hmm. You know, but that's a sign of the, the elect waking up and Esau going down. Mm -hmm. Right. But um, you say you have something else because you got some more in that Yeah, I had a quick one. Go ahead. This is the book of Matthew, chapter 13, verse 16. But blessed are your eyes, for they see, and your ears, for they hear. Mm -hmm. Verse 17. For verily I say unto you, that many prophets and righteous men have desired to see those things which ye see, and have not seen them, and to hear those things which ye hear, and have not heard them. I guess what? You want to do that? Come, on, come. On. You know, that's why you guys say to all the and how shy for this word. And you know, you get that Romans 11 and 7, you know, the rest of Israel was blinded, but you know, the elect obtained it. You know, to all the Yabash and Yahshai for that. Sure. We're able to see and we're also able to interpret what's going on. And also, the prophets of old, they, they wish to see the things that we've seen, you know, mm -hmm. and we're, we're blessed to see that also. Okay. Go on, uh, back on that, uh, Matthew 24, jump down to verse. Uh, and uh, Matthew, just read through. Read, start from on your way and read, read some more. Matthew 24. Come. Um. So the Lord, he, he gave us the drop on, 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 on the things that's to come on the earth. So as, as for the other people, they're going to be moving in uncertainty. They're going to be, they're going to be moving and, and perplexed, as, as the scripture says, a spirit of confusion, they're going to be confounded. Mm -hmm. Okay? But those of us that the Lord is, is dealing with, Lord, when we endure to the end, we, we, we know what to expect. 
as as things play out, you know, we we know, okay, after this, keep calm. This is gonna happen. This is gonna happen. You know? So we have an expectation. Go ahead, bro. Um, back in that, that Matthew chapter twenty four, um, verse eleven, and many false prophets shall rise and shall deceive many. And because right. iniquity you're gonna, have, you're gonna have people coming out, uh false pastors, false leaders, all these people that sold out the Esau, <coughs> even Jake's in 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 uh this truth. In Israel, these different leaders gonna be pushing the MOTB, right. pushing the Quran, preaching the to tie yourself with this man's system. That's obviously going down. Alright, keep going. And because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. Every man for himself. We seeing that. But he that shall endure until the end, the same shall be saved. That's what we that's where we hope to fall under. Right. Endure until the end. So it's gonna take faith. It's gonna take it's an element Within the, the the makeup of the elect, mm -hmm. it's going to take something special to, to keep them in a spirit of persevering, mm -hmm. a, per, a spirit of enduring, mm -hmm. all the way to the end. Because it's going to get worse and worse. And if you're not of the elect, you're going to fall. This is a, a <clears> great <throat> shaking. This is a great trial that the Lord is bringing to, to, to the inhabitants of the earth, mainly Israel, mainly Israel, okay, to see who's who and, and what's what, what's who you truly made of. And this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for witness unto all nations, and then shall the end come. All right, that's the key point. So this truth is going to be spread throughout the earth, man, and this is happening. This truth is on fire right now, okay? More and more Jake's waking up. More and more people having the same conversation that we've been having five, ten years ago. Star Apostle and Elders going 25, 30 years ago, okay? The conversations that, that, that we've having and the, and the talking points that we've been making are being made by the average everyday uh, person out there <laughs> at the dinner table, in the gym locker room, okay, in the barbershop, right, right. in the in the food court. <clears throat> Prophecy is, is speaking like it says in Habakkuk, the second chapter, okay. So that's a major sign of the, of the end. <laughs> All right, but uh, let me finish that, that second address oh. and then whatever else your brothers got. This is second Andrew, back in second Andrew chapter nine, verse three. It says, Therefore, when there shall be seen earthquakes and uproars of the people in the world, and that's the spirit too. Um, you know, we were just speaking about earthquakes. I got a notification talking about other um I got a notification says magnitude six point no quake strikes in the ring of fire seven hundred and fifty miles off the coast of California eleven minutes ago. Mm. All right. And it says we're, um, verse 4 it says, Then shalt thou well understand that the Most High spake of those things from the days that were before thee, even from the beginning. It says, Verse 5 For like as all that is made in the world had a beginning, and the end, and, and the end, and the end is manifest. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Start right there. Alright, so the signs are, are on the wall, the writing is on the wall. Mm -hmm. Just like uh, you, you see. The seasons change and the, the days get shorter, the nights get longer, it starts to get colder. Mm -hmm. You know, you're getting toward, closer to the end of the year. Sure. Okay, so just like in this man's kingdom, you see the hyperinflation, the inflation and hyper, you know, going into hyperinflation. You see the uh, the stores, okay, having a lack of certain uh, goods mm -hmm. and food. You see the, the breakups in the supply chain. Mm -hmm. You see, uh, you hear these different nations uh, speaking more about nuclear missiles, yeah. all right, and you you, you, you see uh, Israel rising up, right. So that's the sign, man. Mm -hmm. Signs of the times that we're living in, you know. We in end times. Scripture, uh, Second Timothy three verse one, and this know also that in the last days perilous times shall come. Mm -hmm. You see that word perilous when you're going through it, it means dangerous, fear is hard to do, savage. Mm -hmm. Times we come in. It's funny because I did a lesson today. Um, I was looking for a lesson to go into instead of going into a specific article. I was on, I ended up on um, uh, Collapse.News. So I did a lesson just actually reading the titles of the articles. I didn't really go into any of the articles, but what Ash was just speaking on, that's what those titles was going into. The lack of diesel. Mm -hmm. 
-hmm. how many days left before they run out of diesel, mm -hmm. which is threatening the transportation system. Mm -hmm. If the transportation system is not running, that means your food won't be able to come to market. Mm -hmm. You see? All of these things. Energy crisis over in Europe. Mm -hmm. Okay? All right? Lack of food, man. They get rid of freeze over there. They get rid of freeze. Dark winter. Yep. They, they uh, check. Oh, it just the, came out, too, that uh, Britain is the one that destroyed that uh, that North Street pipeline. And they said that lady, that, that the prime minister lady, who yeah, just said that. It's true. That's yeah. why she dipped out. Right. They said she, 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 she got a text. She texted somebody and said, uh, it's done. Or some right. shit. Like yeah, that. yeah, like 30 seconds. Uh, yeah, she texted some officials say it's done. <laughs> I saw that today on the same right. news feed that I was on. In Russia, they, they, they said we're going to, you know, we they going to do something about that. You see? So it's happening, man. The people from the Czech Republic, uh, that's a. Uh, former uh, Czechoslovakia, uh, mm -hmm. they are um, protesting over there for the sanctions to be lifted off of Russia because they catch your help, mm -hmm. okay? So they say they want to sanction, they, they want to leave NATO and the EU. Mm -hmm. So they see the, the, the Mary Clay, the Tentos, they're not really together, man. It's, <laughs> it's a, div a dividing of house. You see? So, hey, man, that's prophecy. That's prophecy. I got something. The second Andrew 16 and start at 17, it says, Woe is me, woe is me, who will deliver me in those days? Mm -hmm. It says, The beginning of sorrows and, and great mornings, the beginning of famine and great death, the beginning of wars, and the power shall stand in fear because of the evils. What shall I do when these evils shall come? Mm -hmm. Alright, so all these things that are happening right now, these are just the beginning. Of what's to come, man. Okay, because we are entering into a time of, of war, of death, mm -hmm. okay, pestilence, you know, uh, 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 temptation, you know, all, all hell is about, to, is about to break loose, man. Mm -hmm. Okay, and we are literally at the at the front of it, man. Okay, and then you see what's happening in the news, you see what's happening between these different nations, okay, it's, it's all to, to uh, gear us up for what's to come, man. Okay, and as you said, what was me, what was me, you know, because that's how bad. Okay, it, it's, it's gonna uh, be, man. Yeah. Right. Okay, he was he was looking and seeing, mm -hmm. and the flesh is gonna look like no way out. It's gonna look impossible. Mm -hmm. When you add up the circumstances and the, the position we're gonna be in, it's gonna be literally impossible for us to make it out of that situation uh, uh, outside of the Lord, man. Mm -hmm. Without the Lord, it's gonna be impossible to to get out of the situation we're gonna find ourselves in. Mm -hmm. It's gonna take. High level miracles every single day. The Lord's gonna have to work out for you to, to get you out of this this uh you know times that we're coming in. You know the scriptures say the whole world is gonna be a, a global famine. Mm -hmm. uh, somebody get that Bible Isaiah sixty five. Uh, uh, was it Isaiah sixty five and thirteen? A servant shall eat. Go ahead. It's Isaiah sixty five verse thirteen. Therefore, saith the Lord, I will behold my servants shall eat, but ye shall be hungry. Behold my servants shall drink, but ye shall be thirsty. Behold my servants shall rejoice, but ye shall be ashamed. So it's going to be a famine. But the Lord said his servants is going to eat. You might not eat when you want to eat. You might go a couple of days without eating. The Lord's going to test us, but you're going to eat. So how are you going to eat in the middle of a, of a famine? The Lord's going to have to work a miracle. We know Esau is coming down with great wrath. This is the sword, right? He's blessed with the sword. Our blessing is not the sword. We, you know, military experts and things like that. So how are we going to escape the hands of this devil? Okay? Now we know certain brothers is going to have to give up their, their body as a sacrifice, right? Okay? Uh, scripture speak about those that were beheaded for the witness of Yahweh Shai. But we know the majority of them is going to uh, be alive in the well and, and waiting for the return of Yahweh Shai at the last day. So are those men, women, and children going to be preserved throughout all this? It's going to take high-level miracles, man. That's right. I'm going to quick preach This is Job chapter 5 and verse 20. It says, And family shall redeem thee from death and then walk from the power of the sword. Thou shalt be hid from the scourge of the tongue, neither shalt thou be afraid of destruction when it cometh. Uh, right. destruction. It's a, it's a, it shall be hid from the scourge of the tongue. Right. So, the scriptures speak about how Esau, you know, he maketh his tongue like a sharp sword. Mm -hmm. 
and he prepared his, he, it's, you know, it's like he shoot those bitter words. Right. I the, rose. the word anti-Semite, that's a, that's a bitter word. Right. right. They, they created this term, which when you actually go into it, when you break down the words, all right, Semite goes back to Shem, Shem. okay, Shem. one of the three sons of Noah, right. and you have many nations that come out of uh, Shem, mm -hmm. all right? So they call yourself an anti-Shemite. A lot of people, I would say the majority of the people on the earth are sh Shemitic, right. damn near, yeah. you know? <laughs> so, you know, at least one third, but that's how this devil operates. He says things over and over and over through his media, his witchcraft, mm -hmm. until it, it becomes a, like a bitter word. Mm -hmm. right. And they're going to label us that. They already label us, us that. Mm -hmm. But the Lord said, we're going to be hid from the scourge of the tongue. All right. My best in belief that you, like you had that uh, that rabbi, so-called woman rabbi. <laughs> I <laughs> really see, see the video. That's yeah, that's mine. Right. But what she said, she said, this is much bigger than Kanye. We got to stop talking about Kanye and focus on the um, so who are they really trying to get at? Get it, mm -hmm. You know? But the Lord said he's going to hide us from all that. Right. Mm -hmm. How is he going to do that? Standard. Mm -hmm. all right. Keep adding that word black. 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 Right. You know? <laughs> but that's a bitter word right black. there. That's, that, that's another witchcraft right. word. That's another witchcraft right. word. Derogatory word of light, you know? Right. Man, that's a real dope. Uh, verse 22, it says, that destruction of promise thou shalt laugh. Neither shall not be afraid of the beasts of the earth. So, um, yeah, man, in, in times of famine, the Lord is going to deliver, man. Mm -hmm. You see? Um, here, could I have another one? Um, in the book of Psalms. Let's find it real quick. Psalms. It says, uh, Behold, Psalms 33 and 18. Behold, the eye of the Lord is upon them that fear him, upon that, them that hope in his mercy, to deliver their soul from death and to keep them alive in famine. Mm. So, hey, the Lord, you know, those that fear the Lord, as the scriptures say, the angel of the Lord is camping around about those that fear him and deliver it. Them. That's why it's a, you have to have a healthy fear of the Lord because. Scripture speaks about where fear is present, you know, it keep it keep it away uh, right. wrath. Mm -hmm. Keep turn you away right. well, turn away wrath, keep you in the right path. Mm -hmm. You know? So we have to keep that fear of the Lord to know to do the right thing. You know, to be found pleasing to do the things that delight in the Lord. You know, scriptures say, you know, when a man's way is pleased the Lord, he make it even an enemies to be at peace with him. So that's why you have to aim for that goal like Enoch. His testimony was that he pleased the Lord, therefore he was not uh, found. He was translated. Mm -hmm. You see? Mm -hmm. So that's that's the goal, to, to continue to please the Lord, to continue to do the things that they like full in his sight, man. Mm -hmm. Read this book. Mm -hmm. Keep the right path and keep going. And keep pushing and doing, man. Mm -hmm. You know? Bro's got it. Mm -hmm. you finish up on that? Did you finish what you had up at first, Aaron? Yeah, that's enough. Okay. You bring up what you got. I know we, you finished that second, I just, Kabar? Yeah. Okay. okay. Alright, you bring up what you got, Aaron. Uh, Isaiah 41 and 10 it says, Fear thou not, for I am with thee. Be not dismayed, for I am thy power. I will strengthen thee, yea, I will help thee. I will hold thee with that with I will hold thee with the right hand of my righteousness. Behold, all they that were incensed against thee shall be ashamed and confounded. They shall be as nothing, and they that strive with thee shall perish. Thou shalt seek them and thou shalt not find them, even them that contended with thee. They that war against thee shall be as nothing as the thing not. For I, the Lord, Yahweh, thy power will, will hold thy right hand, saying, thee, saying unto thee, For not, I will help thee. For not thy woman of Jacob, and ye men of Israel, I will help thee, said the Lord, Yahweh, and thy Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel. Right? So the Lord is telling us to not fear, okay, what's to come, man. And those that, that try to come up against us, okay, they're going to perish, man. Okay? You know, for example, Esau, man, when he try to come against us, 
and for the things that we're saying, okay, the Lord is going to be with us and strengthen us, okay, and, and help us, man. Okay, some bros might have, might get special power. Some bros will get teleported, man. Okay, bros will be get get fed, man. Okay, but all, uh, the thing that they're all going to have to comment is they're not going to fear. They're going to have faith. They're going to believe. They're going to expect, you know, the Lord to, to be with them, man. Okay, for, for the scripture say, you know, we, we walk by faith and not by sight. Okay, it also said, it's, it also said, but without faith, okay, it is impossible to please him. So it's different men of the scriptures that, that, that the Lord helped, okay, they believed in him, man. Okay, he was there for them. Scripture says, look at the generation of old, mm -hmm. right? you know, whoever mm -hmm. had any trust in the Lord was confounded. Mm -hmm. Whoever uh, 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 was forsaken of the Lord, man, uh, you know, uh, whoever called upon him, man, uh, the Lord despised them, you're going to find there was none. Just, just look, man. You got it. And 2 uh, Timothy 1 and 7 says, The Lord has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. So like the brother said, one thing the elect is going to have in common is they're not going to be afraid. Okay? Uh, what Yahweh Shai said, Fear not he who has uh, power to destroy the body, but he that has power to destroy both body and soul in hell. So... We're not afraid of the things that's getting ready to come on the earth. Why? Because we know it's Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai that's working it all. Right. Okay? We're living in something that's that's predetermined. The end result is not going to be changed from what the Lord said it's going to be. Right. So no matter what situation you find yourself in, you know, as it says in Romans, uh, the 8th chapter, that all things work together for our good. Right. Whatever situation you find yourself in at any, in any given moment is of the Lord. Okay, and like it says in 1 Corinthians 10, okay, uh, the Lord is not going to put anything on you that you, you can't bear. That's right. Okay, no temptation taking you, but that which is common to man. But, you know, uh, he, he, he uh, says that, uh, somebody get Bible Shah song, uh, Butcher, 1 Corinthians 10 and 13. So we got a first read. It's first Corinthians ten and verse thirteen. There is no sufficient taking you, but such as the common to man. But the most high is faithful, who, who will not suffer you to be tempted above, above that ye are able. But right. So the most high is faithful that he's not going to allow you to be tempted above ye are able. So ultimately, who 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 set it up for the temptation to come for you to be in temptation? The Lord. Okay. Is the, we know the Lord is not He's not directly tempting you, but He He allows Satan to tempt you, to test you, to see what you're really about. But He's not going to allow you to be, you know, it's not going to go further than what the Lord set it up to be. Right. So that's that's comfort in itself, knowing that. Right. Job Job was be that example of that. Mm -hmm. Right. He went through a pure hell, but the Lord knew what uh, Job was capable of. He knew the limit that He could push Job to. Right. <laughs> and 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 really, it, it was no limit, because the Lord, the Lord told Satan do whatever, yeah, he give him your best shot, just yeah, don't kill him. Right. So really, it's nothing that can happen to to you know sway the the faith of the elect. It's nothing that can happen. It's literally nothing. If you're of the elect, there's nothing that can happen to you between now and the chariots coming, and, and, and it's nothing that can happen between you. Right now, in the day of the Lord, that's going to uh, take away your faith. Yeah, the, uh, the Apostle Paul spoke about the book, uh, the book of Romans. Uh, who shall, uh, all right, let me find it real quick. Who shall, uh, Romans chapter 8, verse 25, who shall separate us from the love of Mashiach? Shall tribulation, or distress, or persecution, or famine, or nakedness, or peril, or sword? As it is written, for thy sake, we are killed all the day long. We are accounted as sheep for the slaughter. Nay, all things. We are more than conquerors to him that loved us. For I am persuaded that neither death nor life nor angels nor principalities nor powers nor things present nor things to come nor height nor depth nor any other creature shall be able to separate us from the love of the Most High Yahweh, which is in Mashiach Yahweh Shah our Lord. So that's it, man. The elect, the elect going all the way through. You know, they predestinated from the foundation of the world. You see? They they gonna they gonna they gonna they gonna endure to the end. You know? I don't wanna start with those men. You see?
you go. You got more on that? I'm on. This is the book of Acts, chapter 14, verse 22. Confirming the souls of the disciples and exhorting them to continue in the faith. And that we must, through much tribulation, enter into the kingdom of the Most High. You know, and that word tribulation, it goes into pressure or distress. Right? Because this 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 path is no easy path, man. You're going to have to enter through a lot of, uh, you know, oh, who's going to break loose for you? Either your woman might act up on you. Your kids might act up on you. You might lose your job or whatever it is. But, you know, the reason why we go through these things is because you have a shy one through those things. Yeah. So we have to go through the same um, distress that you have a shy one through. Cause, but really, you know, as men of the Lord, you know, we got to continue walking in faith. Because that's really what's going to get us from point A to point Z, which is the kingdom. Mm -hmm. So we got to walk in those steps. But the scriptures already tells us what, what's going to happen to us. We just got to continue to have faith and move as soldiers of Yahweh Shai. That's right. The scriptures say, uh, the righteous shall scarcely be saved. Mm -hmm. I mean, so you have to go through it to get to it. That's right. You know, the scriptures say the, uh, the, the, the one third uh, is going to be tried as gold is tried in the fire. You know, so uh, you, you, you will make it, but that doesn't mean that you're not going to be tried. Mm -hmm. You see? But the Lord said, you know, those that have kept my patience, okay, mm -hmm. I will also keep thee. During the hour of temptation, because thou have kept the word of my patience, I will keep thee. You know, in that time. And like the brother Ash brought it earlier, you know, he can give you nothing more than you could bear, but that doesn't mean you're going to go through nothing. Right. Every you know? brother has their, your, your, your story that you're living is already written. Right. Your darkest hour, your Garden of Gethsemane moment. Right. Which, uh, that word Gethsemane means what? Oil of press, right? Mm -hmm. Oil press, right. right. The brother said that word tribulation means pressure. You'll have your very own custom tribulation that the Lord has for you in order for you to ultimately prove that you are of the elect. Mm -hmm. To right. prove your faith. Mm -hmm. Okay? Each brother has his own personal, uh, you know, uh, you know, events, a series of events that's going to take place. Cerberus, you know, Cerberus is going to have to go in the guillotine. Mm -hmm. Cerberus is going to be raised up with that power. Some brothers may get separated from, from other brothers. Mm -hmm. Some brothers probably going to be together. Some brothers going to be taken to the concentration camp. You may get power in there. Some brothers going to have an angel break them out. Some brothers going to have angels guiding them. You know, some certain brothers, the Lord may have you go through, you know, a little tribulation or something. And you come up out of that with, with your faith. And the Lord could have you teleport you somewhere in the middle of nowhere, you by yourself. Okay, you may have some couple of loved ones or whatever, and you you by yourself, and you just chill until the Lord come back. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and some brothers gonna be like that. Mm -hmm. Some brothers, the the Lord is gonna have on the scene, leading multitudes, performing miracles. Mm -hmm. So it's it's we have to be in the spirit of what as Yahweh Shah was in when he was in the Garden of Gethsemane. He said, "Lord, if this if this any way this cup can pass from me, mm -hmm. showing you." It, what we gotta go through is not pleasant. It's not something we want. So if you're in this thing for vainglory, you you don't know what the hell you you went to. Okay. All right. All right. So what? You, but what ultimately what Yahweh Shai said? He said, uh, 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 "Not my will, but Thy will be done." Right. Ne nevertheless, not my will be, but but Your will be done. Right. That's the spirit we have to be in. Mm -hmm. Whatever the Lord has set for you, you just gotta be with it. You know. And, and have and move with faith. Mm -hmm. All right, let's go, bro. Quick one. This is Psalm chapter 34. I'm going to read um, the KJV. I'm also going to the NLT. It says, Many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord, Yahweh, must shall deliver him out of them all. Mm -hmm. And it's in the NLT. It says, The righteous person faced many troubles, but the Lord comes to rescue each time. All right, so each time. Each time. So the elect will understand the spirit. The elect will have to go through you know, abundance of things, you know. You know, and the Lord is going to also be there to protect them. Right? That's and, right. And the Lord might have the way he has, um, you know, spiritual intervention, you know, getting brother. Like, we, we just went into you know, spiritual power and you know, things that sort, you know, angels being around about you, you know. But at the end of the day, the Lord is going to, you know, always protect his elect. All right, it says, he keep with all his bones, not one of them is broken. And O.T. says, for the Lord protects the bones of the righteous, not one of them is broken. Verse 21, it says, Evil shall slay the wicked, and they that hate the righteous shall be desolate. All right, it says in LT 21, it says, All right, you got some, some camps out there 
saying, well, uh, certain individuals out there in Israel saying, well, what if they hold you down and force a, a, a sea hip in you? That's that's a lack of faith, bro. That's a wicked mm-hmm. mindset, bro. Mm-hmm. If they can force you down to put a chip in, that means they can force you down to pop you. Right. You know? That's not written. <laughs> <laughs> Ultimately, that's not written. But you, you shouldn't be going into this thing with a spirit of what if. What right. if they do this? What if they do that? Once you start moving with that mentality, you open up Pandora's box to, to anything. Right. But not only that, if, if, if Esau wants to start doing that, that's that going against you. How about Shemel Shai will? Because the Lord wants to see what you can do. So if he was to just hold you down and force it on you, that, that take away from you actually taking it of your own or rejecting it. Right. You understand? He wants right. to see what you can do. Right. So if they hold you down and do that, that's going against the Lord's will and it's the Lord who's bringing this. Right. Right. This the is Lord, his movie. Lord, yeah. So he ain't going to allow that to happen. Right. He want, They're going to give you options. Either you don't eat, you can't be in our system, mm-hmm. or we're going to behead you. Right. You choose what it's going to be. Mm-hmm. You're going to bow to this thing, right. you're going to come and take this thing, mm-hmm. or you're going to continue to have faith. Right. So it's either or. You see, that's that's how it's going to be done because it's the Lord's movie. Okay. It's, it's, it's what the choice was you going to make. The Lord want to see what you going to make. Mm-hmm. So if, if they were to just hold you down and put it in you, that, that defeats the purpose. You understand? Right. That, that defeats the purpose. So that's not written anyway. But I mean, just think about it. Logically, that defeats the purpose. Right. They're they not going to have to do that because the majority of Jake is going to line up and anyway. take it, and, and <laughs> it anyway. They're going to they gonna be begging for, for that Quran. Because they ain't going to be able to eat without it. And, and they don't have faith. Right. right. Okay? So it's going to be, it's not going to be no gray area. It's no in the middle. It's, it's going to be these people on this side is wicked. Mm-hmm. The Lord ain't dealing with them. They chose their side. They're going to be destroyed. And the other side is going to be the righteous, man. Mm-hmm. Moving with faith. Moving as pilgrims in the earth. Totally mm-hmm. uh, leaning on Yahweh by showing your shot. Right. Scripture says that. It shall come to pass that the remnant that, that, that escape of Jacob will no more stay upon him that smote them, which shall stay upon the Lord, the Holy One of Israel. Yeah. That, that time coming, that's the elect. Yeah. The elect will be trusted in the Al Bashim Al Shai. Yeah. You see? I had a quick precept. Baba Kashai by me. This is uh, 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 9. It says, For the Most High hath not appointed us to wrath. But to obtain salvation by our Lord Yahweh Shai Mashiach. Read it in the NLT. It says, For God chose to save us through our Lord Yahweh Shai Mashiach, not to pour out his anger on us. So at the end of the day, you know, <laughs> the Lord's elect man, hey, Yahweh Shai is coming to deliver them. You see? To keep them alive and fighting, as we read through earlier. You know, the Lord, the Lord is going to deliver at the end of the day. The Lord is going to preserve his elect man. Right up until the time of those chariots, man. Mm-hmm. You see? Don't, don't slap me. You got it. I'm done. You got it. It's so, back in Psalm chapter 34, verse um, 21, once again, it says, Evil shall slay the wicked, and they that hate the righteous shall be desolate. And then the LLT says, Calamity will surely overtake the wicked, and those who hate the righteous will be punished. In the last verse, it says, The Lord Yahweh shall not start redeeming the soul of his servants, and none of them that trust in him shall be desolate. Once again, in the LT, it says, The Lord will re- redeem those who serve him. No one who takes refuge in him will be condemned. And that's what we talk about. Talk about the elect, man. Mm-hmm. All right, the Lord is not going to leave none of the elect, man. Right. The Lord is always going to protect and save the elect. Read, right. the, read them last two verses again. Okay, this is Psalm chapter 34. This is KJV. Then we'll also read the NLT. It mm-hmm. says, The Lord Yahweh Shemar Shah redeeming the soul of his servants, and none of them that trust in him shall be desolate. And, right. oh, and, and ultimately, how were they like redeemed? Which the word redeemed means to be uh, brought back. Right? Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, ultimately, how were the elect brought back? Through adoption. Right. Through, through, through what? Mm-hmm. Sa- exactly. Mm-hmm. The sacrifice of Yahweh Shai. Mm-hmm. So, you have to believe that your, your sins, or ultimately your soul, has been redeemed. Uh, through through the sacrifice of Yahweh Shai. Right. So if you believe that, I mean, it don't matter what happened to you. Mm-hmm. Whether you live, die, or whatever, the Lord got you. Mm-hmm. That's right. Mm-hmm. And this is it in the NLT, last, um, verse, last verse, but the Lord Yahweh Shai will redeem those who serve him. 
no one who takes refuge in him will be condemned. Mm. That's it right there. <laughs> right. No one that takes refuge in him will be condemned. Right. You know, and if I may add real quick, and if it's in a brother's lot to get beheaded and get your head chopped off, hey, just so be it, man. Yeah. Yeah. That's what it is, but hey, the Lord gonna see that, the angel's gonna see that, because the, the, the scripture tells us to strive for this truth unto death. That's right. Until man. death. A lot of Jakes don't understand what they're in in this truth, man, because right. we are gonna we're gonna be persecuted. Right. And this devil's gonna come down with his horns, man. And, and there's gonna be some brothers that is gonna have to get their head pressed on the guillotine, man. And who knows? The angels might come down and they might get spiritual powers, or if they don't intervene, then you know if a brother has to go out that way, then they're gonna be the first one on the chariots when when Yahweh shot cracks some angels, uh cracks the the firmament, man. Yeah. It's gonna be part of their legacy. Forever in the kingdom, they're going to be known as as a brother or sister that gave their life for the for the testimony of Yahweh Shai. Right. That's going to be special, man. That's not going to be nothing light. That's going to be part of your record in, in heaven. Anybody that look you up and want to know about you, your story, you're going to be one of those one of those chosen uh, spirits. Right. I want to break that over to Chris Pisa. This is the book of Acts, chapter twenty one. Um, and it reads, I'm going to just get to the point. <clears throat> it says, uh, verse 12, And when we heard these things, both we and they of that place besought him not to go up to Jerusalem. Because Paul, um, he wanted to go up to Jerusalem, but uh, they told him, do not go, do not go, because you're going to get killed over there. Or you're going to get uh, thrown into prison. But this is what Paul said. And then Paul answered, what mean ye, what mean ye to weep? And to break my heart, for I am ready not to be bound only, but also to die at Jerusalem for the name of the Lord Yahweh Shai. So that's the same mindset that we gotta be in. Now. That's right. That was the same spirit Yahweh Shai was in. Mm -hmm. He was marching in Jerusalem. The disciples, starting with Peter, was telling him, "Oh no, you can't go. They're gonna try to kill you." And what Yahweh Shai called Peter Satan. Satan. Yeah. So. It's, we have to realize this what's, what's going on is much bigger than us. Sure. It's much bigger than your s small, vain life mm -hmm. here on earth. Right. Okay, when you read Revelation 12 chapter, somebody grab that. Revelation 12, start at 10. I know, also real quick, um, though what in the, the Lord gives me that spirit to be able to have that um, that mentality and that spirit on me too. Right, 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 right. 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 That's, that's ultimately... Uh, how how we have to be because you know, we don't know what we're gonna do in that sort of situation. Jake, it's easy for Jake to say I'll do this, man. If that was me, if I was that man, I would I would kick him into that. You yeah. know, that's how Jake is. But mm -hmm. a wise man will know that it's that is uh, ultimately all our actions is of the Lord anyway. Right. Everything you do, everything you say is predetermined by the Lord. That's right. Man. So what uh, they say in the world, man plans, God laughs. Mm -hmm. So the, the humble, wise way to look at this is, man, I pray the Lord give me the spirit to endure to the end. I pray the Lord give me the spirit to, to you know, deal with whatever comes my way and remain integral, you know, maintain my integrity. But uh, go ahead, bro. Whoever got that in Revelation 12? 12 and what verse? 10. Come. This is Revelation chapter 12, verse 10. And I heard a loud voice saying in heaven, now no, was, no, so, so like, hold that, hold that smiley Revelation 2 and 10. Okay. This is book of Revelation chapter 2 verse 10. For none of those things which thou shalt suffer, behold, the devil shall cast some of you into prison, that ye may be tried, and ye shall have tribulation ten days. Be thou faithful unto death, and I will give thee a crown of life. Alright, so Yahweh shall have told his men, he warned them, don't be afraid of this devil. Showing you the white man is the devil. All right, who was ruling at that time? The Romans. Mm -hmm. Who who had the power, the authority to put somebody in prison? Esau. Esau. Who, who's today? Who owns these prisons? Esau. Who who's? You know, this is Esau. The spiritual oh. demon saying can't take you. Wait, what do you mean? If Satan was gonna come and and trap him sure. in, in another dimension, a mm -hmm. spiritual prison? Nah, he was talking about a physical prison, a physical jailhouse. You know, and in these times they're gonna have these different concentration camps and and things set up. Okay, but the Lord said, don't fear. You may have to uh, suffer 10 days, mm -hmm. which is a set time. Mm -hmm. All right? Well, no matter what comes our way, the, the, the point is to remain in faith. Mm -hmm. Keep going. 
Uh, Revelation? Yeah, Revelation 2 and 10. Calm. Um, back to, um... You can start from the top again. Call this book of Revelation chapter 2 verse 10. For none of the things which thou shalt suffer, behold, the devil shall cast some of you into prison, that ye may be tried, and ye shall have tribulation ten days. He shall have tribulation ten days, be thou faithful unto death, and I will give thee a crown of life. That's the key point. Be thou faithful unto death, and I will give thee a crown of life. It says unto death, meaning not meaning that you're gonna to have to die. Some brothers will, which we know Yahushai said, uh, you know, if you believe on him, you're not gonna taste the death. Mm -hmm. Alright, but some brothers will have to go through that, but it says unto them, meaning you have to be willing to to do it if if the situation calls for it. If the right. Lord puts you in that situation, you have to be willing to remain your faith or remain faithful unto death. And he's gonna give you a crown of life, which is gonna be in the kingdom, man. Oh, so that means chase him. Right, we we brought out earlier that the Lord that will give you something that he can handle. So ultimately he put you in that position because he knew he can handle that. Exactly. Right. You know, he put you in that position to get your head, head chopped off if that's your luck, because you know you can handle that. Right. You know? That's right. Some right. brothers, he, he, he put in a spirit maybe to, to, to handle that. Right. right. And they may not have to go through that. The Lord knows what each brother can take. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. You know? Right. But let's, quick, quick. Let's, let's, let's finish this, uh, this uh, Revelation uh, 12 real quick before we move on. This is uh, Revelation chapter 12, verse 10. And I heard a loud voice saying in heaven, Now has come salvation and strength and the kingdom of our God and the power of his anointed. For the accuser of our brethren is cast down. Which was he saw, starting mm -hmm. with the small hat, tribe of Emelet, mm -hmm. 1948ers. Mm -hmm. Okay. For the accuser of our brethren is cast down, which accused them before our God day and night. And they overcame him by the blood of the Lamb. Right, and by so the, the sacrifice, that's number one. He won. And by the word of their testimony. By doing the work. Right? We, we, we first this the sacrifice, then, because... Cause, the first, the Lord had to s sacrifice himself, but in order for the sacrifice of Yahweh to actually, uh, you know, have effect on, on your soul in this lifetime, now you got to be doing the work. You got to be doing something to, to show your faith okay. that you truly believe on him. That's your sacrifice. Mm -hmm. He gave his sacrifice, but then you got to pick up your, pro your cross and follow after him. Mm -hmm. that's, that's the word of their testimony, which we're, we're bringing out right now. Okay, this testimony is going to, like any other uh, court case, you, you know, a, a witness, which is a, te some, a testify, testifier, you know, they bring out their testimony of what they saw. Uh, the, the person they're, they're accusing is going to want them killed. It's going to want them, uh, you know, x out. And that's what this devil is, is going to try to do with us. But when it said, no, we overcame him. So it's already written. <coughs> We're just letting it play out, and, and we're reading to you how it's going to play out. Keep on, bro. And by the word of their testimony, and they love not their lives unto the death. Mm -hmm. So that's the key point right there. And they love not their lives unto the death, meaning they were willing to and gladly give their life if the situation called for it. Mm -hmm. If they were put in that position to do. That's right. So that's the spirit that we got to be in. I got a precept to back up what your brother's been saying. <coughs> Told something. Yeah. Go ahead, let me go. Uh, this is First Thessalonians 4 and 15. For this we say unto you by the word of the Lord, that we which are alive and remain unto the coming of the Lord shall not prevent them which are asleep. For the Lord himself shall descend from <coughs> heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel, and with the trump of the Most High, and the dead in the house shall rise first. You can start at verse 13, by the But I would, I would not have you to be ignorant, brethren, concerning them which are asleep, mm -hmm. that you sorrow not, even as others which have no hope. 
For if we believe that the Hawashai died and rose again, even so, them also which are asleep in the Hawashai will God bring with them. For this we say unto you by the word of the Most High, by the word of the Hawashai, that we which are alive and remain until the coming of the Lord shall not prevent them which are asleep. The Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a loud shout, or with a shout, and with the voice of the archangel, with the trump of the of God, and the dead in Christ shall rise first. So we understand, you're not worried. It's, it's talking about, it says asleep, but it's talking about those who have to die within this truth. Because we understand, you know, some of, some of the elect, you know, they're not going to, you know, have that taste of death. And we have, you know, some that's going to have to die on this side. But the comfort with it is that those who have to, you know, die on this side, you know, they're going to be risen up first. Yeah. All right. So, you know, the scripture does say start to the death because at the end of the day, we understand that those who strive unto, unto death, they're going to be risen up first, man. All right. Mm -hmm. Right. A good example is uh, Stephen. Mm -hmm. Okay. The, the scripture is, you know, recording as the first martyr for Yahweh Shah. He was the first one to give up his his life or be killed for the for the preaching of, of Yahweh Shah. Mm -hmm. And he had an omen known. His name was Stephen, mm -hmm. which, which means crown, mm -hmm. ultimately. So he still he strove for the truth unto death and, and he received his crown. Mm -hmm. Alright, he's gonna say when he was going out, he saw uh Mosai and Yahushai sitting on, on the side. Mm -hmm. So he 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 finished his course back then, but guess what? Stephen is back now. That's right. Mm -hmm. And he gotta he gotta endure to the end. Mm -hmm. But his, his fate is already sealed though. Mm -hmm. You know? Based off what he did back then. He he already Guaranteed to make it. He just got to play it out. Whether the Lord may have him go through that again, or he may be, he may get raised up with power on this side. Right. Wow. You know, mm -hmm. you got you got uh, certain men that that uh, the Lord is going to have. You know, you know the certain brothers they've been been doing the work, making their body a living sacrifice for X amount of years. So the Lord's like, all right, you know what? These men, I'm gonna bless. I'm gonna bless them with power. Mm -hmm. I ain't going I ain't even gonna let them get beheaded. Mm -hmm. Certain people, they they probably been playing around a little bit in the background. You know, the Lord may have said, you know what, I don't, I don't, this, you gonna have to show me something. Mm -hmm. You feel me? So it's gonna be it's, it's gonna be different strokes for different folks. Right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You go ahead, Ira. Okay. Uh, this is Revelation fourteen and thirteen, start at twelve. It says, "Here is the patience of the saints." Here are they that keep the commandments of the Most High and the faith of Yahweh Shai. It says, I heard a voice from heaven saying unto me, Right, blessed are the dead which die in the Lord from henceforth. They set the spirit that they may rest from their labors and their works be followed them. Right, so those that die in Yahweh Shai, okay, did their works follow them, man. Right. <laughs> okay, the Lord's not going to forget what they did in their past life, okay, like they did it for no reason. Lord, remember what they did, man. They're not going to get rewarded for that. Okay, Lord, Scripture says he's not, uh, he's not going to forget, he's not uh, right, right to forget, you know, that works and labors of love, man. Okay? You know, so what you, what those men did back then, okay, their works did follow them, man, and they're, and they're going to be protected, you know, in, the, in these times, man. Okay, they will get the truth, they will believe, and they're going to endure, man. Because it's already, it's already been, it's already been written, man. They already, you know, proved, you know, that they believe, man. All right, but back then, 2,000 years ago, mm -hmm. they didn't, they, they knew that, Salvation wasn't gonna come back then. Right. They knew that Yahusha was gonna establish the kingdom in, in their time. And you can read that in Acts one when Yahusha rose back from from the dead. Mm -hmm. It was like it's now the time. He was like, <laughs> surely it's go time now. Right. And Yahusha was like, Nah, it's not. You're gonna have to go to the ends of the world and and, and be witness unto me and, and to the uttermost parts of the earth. Mm -hmm. Then you are gonna uh, receive power on, on that side. Right. You see, so. It's it's right now we're going to the last show. This is it. This is the this is the the, the big you know the, the climax so to speak. The Lord said he's uh, not going uh, his service is not going to be pushed into a corner anymore. This is the time where the prophets win. Right. This is the time where the Lord is going to raise up that standard. This is the time when the Lord is going to be you know glorified in, in his saints. Mm -hmm. All right, Yahushua came as a as a as a lamb two thousand years ago. Now he's coming back as a lion. Right. So it's right now, this this is a different time period. This is a different spirit going on, man. Right. Right. The Lord ain't gonna allow us to just get totally, you know, pushed out and phased out and X'd out, man. Right. Right. 
This is the end. This is the time when, when the Lord gonna fight because when they came from in the garden of Gethsemane and Peter they chopped off the servant heads with the sword, he told them to pull up, pull up like the sword. Yeah. You know, to so those who live by the sword shall die by the sword. They say, you know, think that I kind of pray to my father and he sent me uh, ten legions. I believe he said ten or twelve legions of angels, yeah, something like that. He, he said. You know, it, but this is not our kingdom. Therefore, if this is our kingdom, my servants will fight. Right, right. This is the time when they're going to fight. Right. It's the time when they can return. Right. You see? And there is war with heaven. Mm -hmm. It's going to be war in heaven, man. Mm -hmm. You see? <laughs> Michael, Yahweh was shy. Yeah. That's also when, when Yahweh was shy was uh, getting ready to, to, to go on the cross, man. They, they, they asked him, a servant asked him, would you want to... Uh, you could grant us power and you could call down fire like Elijah. Mm -hmm. You know, and Yahusha said, you rebuke and say, you know not what spirit ye are of. Mm -hmm. For Yahusha is coming out to, to destroy men's lives but to save them. Mm -hmm. That was back then. Right. Now it was a different time. Now mm -hmm. this is the time where the Lord's going to give his men power. Mm -hmm. That's right. All right? This is the time the Lord said, thou art my battle axe and weapons of war. That's right. For with thee will I break in pieces the nations. Mm -hmm. The Lord also said what? Okay, the saints shall take the kingdom. Yes. Mm -hmm. This is the time where the kingdom is, is to be right. took. Mm -hmm. Judas of Lions, well, who shall rouse him up? <laughs> and yeah. the picture, also, this, could you see uh, even change the fishermen into. Um, That's right. Into right. Into yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Prove, it, <laughs> prove it that, you know, it's going to be a time. It's funny to get that. Jeremiah 16, 14. Right, so this, 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 this is going to be. This salvation that's getting ready to take place is going to outdo all other salvations and deliverance that the Most High brought for Israel. This, this thing right here is going to be remembered for all eternity, man. That's, that's the type of the show we're getting ready to witness. That's going to magnify the name of the Lord again. That's <laughs> right. See? Uh -huh. What we got in there? This is uh, Jeremiah chapter 16, verse 14. Therefore, behold, the days come, said the Lord, that it shall no more be said. The Lord liveth that brought up the children of Israel out of the land of Egypt. And, and, that, and that in itself right there magnified the name of the Lord. Mm -hmm. But this time it's going to be on an even higher scale. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. But the Lord liveth that brought up the children of Israel from the land of the north. And from all the lands whither he had driven them. And I will bring them again into their land that I gave unto their fathers. Behold. See that? So this this deliverance is going to outdo the deliverance of Egypt. Mm -hmm. right. Which they still talk about to this day. They still make movies about it. Mm -hmm. Okay? It, it's, it, we read about it. We keep the Passover. And we, we talk about it. We go into the story. Man, this, is, this was a wild, this was a wild event that took place. All the, 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 right. the, the ten plagues, mm -hmm. the different, you know, and Mosai raised up Moses and Aaron. It was, it was, you know, putting them, sending out those plagues on Egypt. Mm -hmm. right. the, the Pharaoh was, was, was bugging the hell out. That's the time that we're in right now. The Mosai is jacking up, and like it says in the second Ezra, like 16, he's going to bring uh, plagues upon Egypt again. Mm -hmm. That's, that's the time we're living in now. And then that, that ultimate deliverance, that the strangers of our salvation, man, it's, this thing is going gonna, 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 to be the liveliest movie. Mm -hmm. For sure. Um, I would say something. Go ahead, bro. That's, that's, why, that's why, you know, and your brothers know in 2nd Edges chapter 13, as I have right here, that's why Edges, like, it's those who are blessed. I'm going to read Yeah, you got to go. This is 2nd Edges chapter 13, verse 24. It says, Know this, therefore, that they which be left behind are more blessed than they. Than, than they that be dead, cause you know you have you know certain certain men who you know elect gonna be able to see all of these things. Right, because because so yeah. I'm control, but yeah. like we said, if, if the Lord do have you put in the guillotine mm -hmm. and you lose your life, that's a that's a win win situation. Mm -hmm. But read it again, read that scripture again. It's in Second Edges thirteen verse twenty four. It says, "Know this, therefore, that they which be left behind are more blessed than they that be dead." All right, so you know, yeah, we, you know, you still win. At the end of the day, you still win. You know, those who have to die on the side, you know, guillotine or not, I mean, guillotine or however they die, they, they, they still win. But what it's saying here, those who, 
are left behind are more blessed because they're gonna be able to see all of these things that the good stuff. Not, not, not only see it, mm-hmm. but take part in it. Yeah. Yeah. Experience it. Live it. Uh-huh. I got some. You're gonna be you know, you're gonna actually the uh you know walking and playing out this this movie. Right. Go is this you know go it's a lot better, bro. That's like um going through Jacob's trouble, going through um the you know, famine, pestilence, you know, when Esau shall come up as the flood, mm-hmm. you know, all of these things up to where, you know, you see, you see they, they, brothers might eat to the point where they see the mooks actually come in the air, and boom, they get, you get beaten up. Right. It may be, it may be, uh, one could go off and the fire coming, <laughs> surrounding you on all sides. Yeah. And at the last minute, the, the, you know, sure. beam catch you. No. The Lord had a beam catch you, and you don't even get beamed up. It's just a light, but it's just, it's just like and you read in the song of three holy children, the Lord had that water uh, tornado basically circulating Circulate. around them mm-hmm. to keep them from that fire. Mm-hmm. Then the Lord could, could beam you up. You know, it's the, the point that the Lord is going to test your faith to, mm-hmm. to the last yeah. minute. That's right. That's right. Triple said, "He shall deliver thee in six trouble. Yeah, yeah. seven shall not right. trouble thee. That's right. Five minutes will touch thee. Mm-hmm. Touch your car. Right. That's, that's seven. That's seven is the missiles, man. Yeah." Mm-hmm. That's right. Yeah, but like the brothers brought up, that, that's beautiful, man. We want to be part of that. Yeah. You know, we want to be part of that number that the Lord has. Because cause if you left behind, just for the Lord to keep you throughout that, the worst times of all, and this is mm-hmm. what the scriptures say, right. which uh, somebody holds Daniel 12. Mm-hmm. So it's going to be the worst times ever, but you're going to be able to be kept through it all. The Lord will have to do something amazing, man. Mm-hmm. And for you to experience that. You know, divine intervention. Mm-hmm. You gonna you gonna live it out. It ain't, it ain't gonna be no. It ain't gonna be boring. Mm-hmm. That thing gonna be exciting, man. Mm-hmm. <laughs> miracles, Action pack. Miracles on top of miracles on top of miracles. Mm-hmm. You know. Mm-hmm. So you know, like we said, it's a win win if you do, brother do it to give up his life. Yeah. But hey, man, you really you want to be on the earth. Yeah. Right. Okay. The Lord. That's why uh, you, the Lord got all his his men. Uh, you read in Book of Job, okay? Uh, which, uh, somebody grab uh, what's the Job. In my flesh, I, I, I will see the Lord. Well, you gotta uh, get. We just quoted. Uh, Job said, "Though after you know I die, and you know worms consume my flesh. Yet in in right. the, my body, I'm gonna see the Lord, right. who I will see with my eyes, and, and roughly paraphrasing, not another." Though my reins be consumed within me. <clears throat> so Job is reincarnated on the earth today. Mm-hmm. Many other ancient prophets and wise men and righteous men are back on earth today just to, to see, see this thing right. go down. Yeah. <laughs> right, Ezra. <coughs> okay, Daniel. Yeah. This this man, this this is this thing live, man. We, we, we living in some beautiful times. Beautiful times. This ain't 1865, this ain't 1492. This ain't 1619. This ain't 70 AD. Okay? <laughs> this this is the end. David said his body will be fashioned like unto the Lord. If I may add to Revelation, um, it says, um, roughly par- paraphrasing, um, those which pierced them shall also see. Yep. Yeah, those so so everybody's going to be back, back too. They're going to be back too. Gonna be back too. How are they going to? Get the ass right. of your house shine. Those that right. say let his blood be upon us and our children, mm-hmm. they're gonna be back too. Yep. Also proven reincarnation. Exactly. <laughs> <All right. laughs> yep. Also for reincarnation. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So everybody's back to get that judgment. Right. Right? Mm-hmm. It's, 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 it's to be delivered of you strike. Right. I, I'm holding two quick ones. Uh, you want that Daniel 12 and 1? Uh, we go. You, 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 yeah. you, you, you had you something, Ira. You said you had something? Uh, that's it. That's you said you had something, Ira, earlier? Yeah. yeah. You want to bring it up? He started reading, right? No, I was over there. All right, go ahead, go ahead. I say Ezra's 9 and 8. It says, shall be preserved from the set perils. Oh, and uh, started at 7. Yeah. Okay. Second Ezra's 9 and 7. It says, and everyone that shall be saved and shall be able to escape by his works mm-hmm. and by faith, whereby ye have believed. I'm talking about the elect. Yeah. Shall be preserved. From the set but, well, how are they going to be saved? By their works mm-hmm. and by their faith. faith. Uh-huh. So it's so, something you want to have to be doing before mm-hmm. the judgment take place in order to, to for you to be mm-hmm. uh, spared in the, in the time of judgment. Right? Mm-hmm. You was using the grace period and, and the time of liberty to seek the Lord and doing the work. You know, you 
didn't abuse our Lord and the most high laws. Go ahead, Ara. It says, uh, shall be preserved from the said perils, and shall see my salvation in my land and within my borders, where I sanctified them from for me from the beginning. Right. Let me bring these two precepts up, because let's go with that, and then you can continue reading down from 9 to 12. Okay. Um, this is uh, Isaiah chapter 19, and verse 19. It says, In that day shall there be an altar to the Lord in the midst of the land of Egypt. Which is speaking about America. Okay, uh, Revelation 11 and 8 tells you that America, uh, the Lord of Babylon is known as spiritual Egypt. And Sodom. It says, And a pillar at the border thereof to the Lord. Verse 20. It says, And it shall be for a sign and for a witness unto the Lord of hosts in the land of Egypt. For they shall cry unto the Lord because of the oppressors, right? Because we're behind enemy lines. Hmm. We're being oppressed. And it says, He shall send them a savior, that's Yahweh Shai, hmm. and a great one, and he shall deliver them, hmm. right? And we know Yahweh Shai, you know, Yahweh means he, Yahweh Shai means he saves or delivers. His name is a normal omen, Latin for name prediction for what he's going to do. He's going to deliver and save his people. Hmm. You see, so I'm gonna get one more and I'm gonna give it back to you, Ira. This is um, Isaiah chapter Isaiah 31, verse 5. And it says, um, As birds flying, so will the Lord of hosts defend Jerusalem. Jerusalem is the people for us, the place. Defending also, he will deliver it, and passing over, he will preserve it. Hmm. And what you just read this now, you know, it says, The Lord said, uh, you know, those that are sanctified for him from the beginning, he's going to preserve them, man. Mm -hmm. You see? So that's speaking about the elect. Then we got the two thirds of our people who are not taking heed to the word. Mm -hmm. So you could go on from verse 9. Um, it says in the verse 9, then shall, be, then, sh then, shall, then shall they be in a pit be in pitiful case, which now have abused my ways, and they that cast them away despitefully shall, shall dwell in torments. That's all about two thirds of our own people, man. They have, they have abused the ways of the Lord, man. They have abused the grace period, you know, abused that they think they thinking that they have time to uh, repent, man. Mm -hmm. Okay, put it off from day to day. Right. Okay, it says, for such as in their life have received benefits and have not known me, and they that have ruled my law, while they have yet liberty, and when as yet place of repentance was open unto them, understood not, but despised it. Mm -hmm. The same as know it after death by pain. All right, because they had time to repent, and they didn't take the chance to. Okay, they they, they will die by by pain, man. Okay, they're gonna get the Lord is basically gonna torture them. Okay, for not you know turning back to the Lord when they had the time to. Right. Mm -hmm. But the good thing about that is the Lord still is gonna show His mercy because Yahweh Shai died for the whole nation of Israel. That's why the scriptures say, and and all of Israel shall be saved. So they're gonna come back to the to the Lords of Israel, like man, woman, in the kingdom. They're gonna come back born as uh, uh, children mm -hmm. in their right minds. All right. Okay, at that time, the law, statutes, and commandments will all be ready placed into the hearts yeah, of the elect. Mm -hmm. You know, so when we have children, you know, as long as it's out with those men, you know, your children are going to come back. They're going to be, you know, they're going to be, they're going to have that power, and they're going to be in their right mind. That's right. You know, so that's right. That's it. And they're going to be ashamed. Yeah. They're going to be ashamed. But for a time period. Period of time. Because the, the Lord said they're going to die after death by pain. Yeah. Lord know they're going to they gonna come back and they're going to be in their right mind. So knowing that, the Lord is going to set it to where this is going to be the worst judgment they ever got. Mm -hmm. Okay? Knowing he's going to have mercy on them after, he's going to fuck them up. Mm -hmm. yep. You know? This, 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 it's called Jacob's trouble for a reason, man. We're getting ready to see some, some gruesome stuff. Yep. The majority of these so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans out here in America and in different parts of the earth is getting ready to be Totally, totally annihilated, man. That's right. And before the Lord destroys them, He's gonna bring them through a, a whole uh, heap of judgments. Why? Cause they didn't want to repent. Mm -hmm. yep. They gotta pay for all everything they did uh, done in their lifetimes, man. Their whole uh, time here on Earth, coming back and, and recycling the spirit over and over, coming back in the flesh, it was wicked every time, man. They didn't repent. Mm -hmm. Even up until the very last moment, man, all these different signs and, 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 and you know, things going out. All these, uh, which they, they're getting ready to have another blood moon mm -hmm. on election day. It's going to be visible, supposedly, over all America. Mm -hmm. Okay? All these different U UFO chariot signs and, and, and whatnot. Okay? 
all these jakes coming out talking about Israel. It's, it's been it's, mm -hmm. enough is enough, man. The Lord's going to jack Jacob some some. <coughs> Especially you celebrities out there that know your true nationality, man. And that came out and said it on the internet. You know, all you damn rappers or whatever actor, what it is, man. If you, you can say all what you want to say, but if you don't come back to your hava while your hava shy, and you don't repent, man, you're going to be the first ones to go. That's right. Like, take off. Yep. You never took off. All right. It's spiritual. And what the Lord said, he that did the, the will. He that knew the, the, the Lord's will and prepared not himself. Yep. Gonna be beat with many stripes. For sure. Anybody else got something? Now I just had a peril definition. It's a serious and immediate danger. Say it again. Peril in the definition is a serious and an immediate danger. Dangerous mm -hmm. <laughs> times. I got some. Go ahead, bro. This is uh this is what I have. First Peter four, I'm gonna put that verse seventeen. For the time has come that judgment will begin at the house of the Most High, and it's in it is, uh, is first, first Peter four and verse seventeen. Um, for the time has come that judgment must be like the judgment must begin at the house of the Most High, and if it first begin at us, what shall what shall the end be of them that obey not the gospel of the Most High? You see that? So everybody's gonna get judged. Yep. Everybody. Even us that have this truth, we're going to be judged according to our works and according to our faith. Lord willing, we judge unto mercy and salvation. And, and, and a lot of Jake's, we read in, in um, Matthew 24, means he's going to be offended and, and shall, uh, you know, they're going to be offended at the word. You're going to have a lot of Jake's that are turning, uh, uh, turning coat. Turning coat. They're going to be uh, becoming traitors, man. Taking their garments off. I see Throwing their fringes off. Yep. Okay. A lot of these jakes that's talking about where your fringes at, right. they're going to they gonna be pulling their fringes off. Pulling them, man. <laughs> and then the time will come because it's going to be great demonization on them mm -hmm. that right. they fear the Lord. That's right. Okay. So it's, it's, we, we're getting ready to see. And if the righteous scarcely be saved, where shall the ungodly and the sinner appear? Uh, Wherefore, let them that suffer according to the will of the Most High commit their commit the keeping of their souls to Him, well doing as a as a faithful Creator. So, was I have faith that the Lord is gonna uh, have you receive what you meant to receive? Right. He's your creator. He, he's not gonna uh, scripture say what well, he's not a righteous to forget your work and labor of love. Okay, but you're gonna have a lot of Jakes in Israel starting with these different leaders, they're gonna be getting jacked up, man. Yep. Guys like General Yohanna, Lord gonna jack that dude all the way up. Tell him Jake to go take the, the jab. Tell him Jake, the most I don't care if you have a, a, a C hip, dude like that gonna, gonna get real jacked up, man. <laughs> Second Ezra chapter 16, verse 17. For there shall be in every place and in the next city is a great start, insurrection. Start, start, start at uh, 67. Okay. Right. All right, it says, Behold, the Most High himself is the judge. Fear him, leave off from your sins, and forget your iniquities to meddle no more with them forever. All right, so it, it, uh, it is, you know what I'm saying, the Most High is the judge. Fear him. So we ain't afraid of Esau. We're afraid of the Lord. Right. Mm -hmm. I think you uh, probably quoted earlier, you know, fair and fair. And I can just kill the body, but for him, we'll kill both body and soul. Yep. You know? yep. It says, uh, uh, So shall the Most High lead you forth and deliver you from all trouble. Lead you forth. Right. That's the key point. He's leading. Right. You gonna wherever the Lord have you go is gonna be by the Lord, man. The Lord, and we gotta we gotta get more in tune with the Spirit, right? What the Spirit is saying, man, because it's gonna be situations where one wrong move can cost you your life, mm -hmm. one disobedient, mm -hmm. one you know uh, episode.
episode of you not following the spirit, that could be it for you, man. Mm. Talking to myself first. So we got to get in that spirit of totally being in sync with the spirit. The Lord is going to lead us forth. It's going to be situations where you may be in a, in a certain place and the Lord wants you to get out of there right now. You got you got two minutes to get out of this building. Mm -hmm. Before an airstrike hit that shit or something, you know, it's right. before he saw it come in, you know, we're gonna have to we're gonna have to be, be on that on that level. Scripture said, a, a prudent man foresees the evil and hides it himself. You know, because it's going to be true wisdom, like you say, to the Spirit of the Lord dealing with you. Wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of that time, the strength of salvation. Mm -hmm. Fear of the Lord is his treasure through the Spirit. Like you say, the Lord wants you to get up and leave. You got to be able to discern that through the Spirit. Right. You know, just get up and move. The Spirit tells you to leave, get up and leave. <laughs> <laughs> uh, verse 68, it says, For behold, the burning wrath of a great multitude. It's candle over you. Which is who? Esau. So you see that happening right now. You're getting ready, man. Coming out having a great wrath because you know that you have but a short time. Mm -hmm. But behold, the burning wrath of a great multitude is candle over you, and they shall take away certain of you and feed you being idle with things offered unto idols. And they that consent right. to those, those things mm -hmm. being idle offered unto idols, mm -hmm. ultimately is that problem. Okay, it's a off, that's an idol to the image of the beast. Right. And certain Jakes that know they Israelites are gonna take it, man. Yep. And, and, right. And they're gonna they're gonna be marked for death after that. Mm -hmm. It says, and they that consent unto them shall be had in derision and in reproach and trodden underfoot. A good example of that is what? These the people that, that, that took the, the juice. Yeah. <laughs> the serpent's juice. Right. And they bugging the hell out. Mm -hmm. but, uh, I believe that was uh, Kabar, maybe one of the brothers put that in the group chat. And they, they, yeah, they went, uh, white <laughs> bitch talking chat. about saying, I'm, I don't know if I can die today or tomorrow. I'm just. Right. Right. <laughs> she say, What is the day where I'm going to stop worrying? <laughs> right. Bitch, you're never going to stop worrying. That's a life lost in life. Lifelong time side effect. Okay? <laughs> Some of them go home back and get third and fourth shots. Oh man, boosters. Sure. boosters. A lot of people drop dead after they got the first one. Yeah, a lot of people who played sports and just dropped dead. <laughs> a lot of those soccer players. They got collage. It's got collage, collage of oh, uh, sports figures just dropping dead. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dropping dead. <laughs> Seventy, it says, "For there shall be in every place and in the next cities a great insurrection upon those that fear the Lord. They shall be like madmen, sparing none." And, and those that fear the Lord, I was talking about Israel. Right? Mm -hmm. Those that starts with those that know they're Israel, mm -hmm. but really is it's all Israel. Mm -hmm. Esau all know who who the Lord's people are. Mm -hmm. You try, so whether you want to believe it or not. Like you were saying, like you were saying earlier. That, that lying rabbi was on the TV. She said, "This is bigger than Kanye." <laughs> oh, yeah, they, they, they trying to link. They know this thing is very big. They know. <laughs> you see, so they, they know that. They know this, this thing is bigger than Kanye. Yeah. There's a whole bunch of these niggas out there. It's on the wake up now. <laughs> <laughs> and then you see, they they put a a, a boot bitch. Yeah, yeah. Like, you know, yeah. That, that's yeah. part of the witchcraft. Right. Because they they asked, they said, "Oh, well, well some people would say." A rabbi is not supposed to look like you. Right. Well, you see, a lot of people don't know we're more than just white people. So you just admitted it, y'all right. white people, right? right. And anyway, <laughs> they use her like to, to, you know, as a narrative. See, you know, just to throw her out there. Whenever it get too hot, let's throw out this goop bit. Yeah, right. yeah. Get this, off, get our face off, off of this. Mm -hmm. People, people stop thinking about us. Yeah, let's eat for. The Lord said, "When I ate her, the same devices." Right. right. We peep game. <laughs> verse 1, second out of 16, verse 7, one says, They shall be like madmen, sparing none, but still spoiling and destroying those that fear the Lord. For they shall waste and take away their goods and cast them out of their houses. You own nothing and you will be happy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Great reset. Mm -hmm. says, then shall they be known who are my chosen, and they shall be tried as the gold in the fire. Like we were speaking of earlier, it's, it's, nobody said it's going to be easy, man. Mm -hmm. You're going to be tried. Right, but, but it said, then shall it be known who right. are my children. Mm -hmm. How is it going to be known? 
Somebody tell me how it's gonna be known. Y'all switching the persecution. Say what? When uh, when the Lord lifts up that standard. Exactly. Mm-hmm. The Lord lifts up that standard. That's how it's gonna be known who am I chosen? Who the Lord with? Mm-hmm. Everybody getting fucked up right now. Right. Who not getting fucked up? <laughs> That's how it's gonna be known. Instead of everybody to like walk in sticks, mm-hmm. you yeah. look healthy. Right. Yep. You look like you ate something. Yep. Like you just ate something. <laughs> <laughs> you know, um, smell chicken on your breath. Where you right. got that from? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Hear, O ye, my beloved, said the Lord. Behold, the days of trouble are at hand. But I will deliver you from the same. Mm-hmm. Be not afraid, neither doubt. Mm-hmm. For your how is your guide. That's right. And the guide of them who keep my commandments and precepts, said the Lord, power. Let not your sins weigh you down, and let not your iniquities lift up themselves. Okay. It says, woe, woe be to them that are bound in their sins and covered with their iniquities, like as a field is covered with bushes, and the part thereof covered with thorns, that no man may travel there through. It is if it is left undressed and is cast into the fire to be consumed therewith. Mm-hmm. So clearly, if, you, if you're not if you're not in the sanctuary of the Lord, okay, it wouldn't be too good for you. It wouldn't be looking good for you. You're not seeking the help. I should never shot. Right. You know, blesses them who dwell in the tabernacle of the Lord. Man. Continue to seek them, man. Yeah. Ain't let our sin well weigh us down. Mm-hmm. Right. And our righteous man falls seven times and gets back mm-hmm. up. Mm-hmm. And the wicked shall fall into the mischief. Mm-hmm. So it's, we, we got to keep pushing no matter what. We got to be in the spirit of, you know, as Brother Brown earlier, I said, uh, that's long as Lord has not appointed us into wrath, but to receive salvation. We got to believe that the Lord uh, set you up to be delivered. Right. You gotta believe your story ends with you making it on the chariot. Right. You gotta be convinced. You gotta be fully persuaded in your mind mm-hmm. that that's what it is. Because mm-hmm. if not, Satan gonna, gonna uh, overthrow your faith. Mm-hmm. You know, uh, we have to be real with ourselves. We have to give ourselves spiritual examinations. We have to pray that the Lord increase our faith. We gotta pray the Lord give us a spirit to endure to the end. Pray to the Lord give us a spirit of, of you know, we gotta be uh, put to death to, to take it. Willfully, manfully, okay. Pray that we don't take that karate. Mm-hmm. Huh? We can get some um, final precepts. Everybody, you know, start wrapping up. Go right. Yeah, I got one. It's the book of Romans, chapter fifteen, verse four. For whatsoever things were written before time were written for our learning, that we through patience and comfort of the scriptures might have hope. I want to um, read it in the NLT real quick. Such things were written in the scriptures long ago to teach us. Like those stories that you see that, you know, every man had their own walk, the tribulation that they went through, that was to teach us. Mm-hmm. And the scriptures give us hope and encouragement as we wait patiently for the most high's promises to be to be fulfilled. You know, and just, you know, seeing what they went through, like, you know, Sirach 2 and 10, who, who did the Lord despise that called on his name? You know, we have those stories and accounts, you know. So what, you know, if you got to get your head chopped off, you know, you're going to be the first one risen up at the end of the day. That's right. Mm-hmm. It's uh, 1 Thessalonians 3, in the, uh, I'm reading the KJV. It says that no man should be moved by these afflictions, for yourselves know that we are appointed there unto. Verily, when we are with you, we told you before that we should serve tribulation. Even, even as it came to pass, and you know, hmm. right, so the things that we're, that we're about to go through, okay, so it's already been written down that we're going to go through it, man. Hmm. Okay, we should count the cost. Right, yeah. all right, right, <laughs> it's understanding. Okay, it's already written down for us to go through this, man. All we got to do is believe and trust in the Lord. And it's said, you, you got time, grace period right now to prepare your mind mm-hmm. to, to be like, okay, if this happens to me, well, you, you know, I got I to gotta have my mind set on. Enduring, I gotta have my mind set on keeping the faith. Kind of right. You know? That's right. Mm-hmm. I'm right. not gonna cut you off. You wanna throw that in there? No, you good. It says, for this cause, when, when I could no longer forbear, I sent to know your faith, 
because by some means the temper have, the, some by some means the tempter have tempted you, and how they would be in vain. And then it says, "That is why even I could I could bear no longer. I sent Timothy Tim, Timothy to find to find out whether your faith was, was still strong. I was afraid that the tempter had gotten the best of you, and that our work had been useless. All right, so we can't let the tempter or the shaitan get the best of us, man. Okay, okay especially in these times that we in now." Cause we gotta fight, okay. We gotta endure, okay. Cause you know, as brothers going into, we have to expect that we will get delivered. We're not in this to, to just to fail, right? Okay. You know, where, where's your faith, man? Okay. The Lord don't want to see you in that in that spirit of doubting. That's right. Okay. Doubt is, is, is doubt is like an, an enemy of faith, man. Mm -hmm. Okay. Paul said, "I, I fight, I fight not as got that." But I'm I'm I'm, I'm thought verse six. I'm the verse five. Uh, but watch thou in all things endure afflictions. Do the work of an evangelist, make full proof of that ministry. For for I am not ready to be offered in the time of my departure is at hand. Mm. I have fought a good fight, I have finished my course, I have kept the faith. Mm. Uh, yeah, the one I was gonna quote was uh I fight oh. not as one that beat at the air. Right. But now nah, that's good too. You know. Fight the good fight of faith is a fight. But yep. you know, we got as we're fighting. We can't fight as one that beat the air. We gotta connect, and mm -hmm. we gotta, we gotta fight with the mentality of I'm gonna win. I'm mm -hmm. in this fight to win the fight, not just to fight. Right. Um, um, henceforth, there's a there is laid up for me a crown of righteousness, which the Lord, the righteous judge, shall give me at that day, and not to me only, but unto all them that also love the also love His appearing. Mm -hmm. See, Paul knew he was gonna be. He knew his crown was waiting on him. Mm -hmm. That's the spirit all the left going to be able to have, man, if we endure to the end. You know, comfort too, you know, because, you know, you got those who starve to death, those who have to die, you know, also to, you know, those who don't, you know, eat. Um, this is Matthew chapter um, 5, verse 10. You know, it says, Bless, this is comfort for those who, you know, are going to get persecuted. This is Matthew chapter 5, verse 10. And bless, this is red letter, y'all shall speak. It says, Bless are they which are persecuted for righteousness' sake, for there is the kingdom of heaven. And mm -hmm. OT says, God, it says, NLT, I'm going to read it verbatim. God blesses those who are perse persecuted for doing, doing right, mm -hmm. for the kingdom of heaven is theirs. Blessed are ye, verse 11, blessed are ye when men shall revile you and persecute you and shall say all manner of evil against you falsely for my sake, says verse 11. And O.T., God blesses you when people mock you and persecute you and lie about you and say all sorts of evil things against you because you are my followers. Verse 12 says, rejoice and be exceeding glad for great is your reward in heaven for so, for so persecuted that the that okay, for so persecuted they of prophets which were before you it says be happy about it be very glad for a great reward awaits waste you in heaven and remember the ancient prophets were persecuted in the same way mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so that's comfort man. you know so those who you know you know which you know through spirit we understand we are pretty but hey this is comfort man this is comfort coming straight from y'all shot exactly you're doing something right. Mm -hmm. it's, that's great because it does says, you know, it says, be happy about it and be very glad for a great world race you in heaven. Oh, sorry. This is, um, this is verse 10. And it says, says, God blesses those who are present before doing right. Mm -hmm. That's it. That's what you, that's what you wanted, but I had skipped up a couple verses. Okay. Uh, first Corinthians 9, 3 to NLT. It says, don't you realize that in a race, everyone runs, but only one person gets the prize, so, so run to win. All athletes are disciplined in their training. They do it to win a prize that will fade away, but we do it for an eternal prize. Mm -hmm. and this is what she went, uh, uh, she said, I therefore so one not not as uncertainly, so I so fight I, not as one that beateth the air. Right, so, hey, we doing this, you know, for a reason, man. Okay, we doing it to, to win an eternal prize, that that, uncor that that uncorrupted crown, man. Okay, that we're gonna receive from Yahweh Shah. You know, we doing it to win. I said in the twenty four in the twenty fourth verse. Okay, so run, so run to win. Okay, and the, and the KJV says, so run that you may obtain. Okay, mm -hmm. so we doing this for for a reason, man. Okay, don't think, oh, I'm just in this truth, man. I'm just, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna die when the time comes. Nah, man. Okay, 
and then I'm, I just go fade away just like that. Nah, man. Okay, we are doing this to be a part of the elect, man. Okay, for our stories could be written down that we stood stiffly for the name Yahweh Shem Yahshai as men did in the past. Mm -hmm. Okay, because those same, those same men are here right now. Be one of them. Right. That's all. Yeah. Um, this is the book of Luke, chapter 21, verse 10. Then he said unto them, Nation shall rise against nation, kingdom against kingdom, and great earthquakes shall be in diverse places, and famines and pestilences, and fearful sights and great signs shall there be from heaven. But before all these things, they shall lay their hands on you and persecute you, delivering you up to the synagogues, and into prisons, being brought before kings and rulers for my name's sake. That's good, right? Calm, you know? We're going to get persecuted for Yahushua's name, you know? It's almost like I'm going to get thrown into prison, you know? And it's, But the, the great thing about it is, you know, it shall turn to a testimony for you. It's going to be your testimony. Yeah, he, he went to jail for Yahushua's name. Mm -hmm. And verse 14 Settle it therefore in your heart not to meditate before what ye shall answer. For I will give you a mouth and wisdom which all your adversaries shall not be able to gainsay nor resist. So when that persecution does come, if you are thrown into prison, don't think about what you got to say. Because the Lord is going to put in your spirit for you to know what to say, you know? Mm -hmm. Verse 16, and ye shall be portrayed both by parents and brethren and king folks and friends, mm -hmm. and some of you shall they cause to be put to death. You know, some of us may get put to death. Mm -hmm. And he shall be hated of all men for my name's sake. But, you know, the good thing about it is, but there shall not an hair of your head perish. Mm -hmm. You know, not a hair. You know how much hair you have on your head? You're not going to perish. Mm -hmm. You know, ultimately, the Lord got you. You got to keep that faith, man. Mm -hmm. You got nothing to worry about. And your patience possess your souls. And when ye shall see Jerusalem compass the armies, then know that the desolation thereof is not. I have a precept real quick. This is in regards to the seven sons. And uh, there was something that was said. I think it was the fourth, the fourth son when he was about to get persecuted. That's why it's 2 Maccabees uh, 7 and 12. It says, In so much that the king, <coughs> that the king, and they that were with him marveled at the young man's courage, for that he nothing, so like for that he nothing regarded regarded the pains. So he's facing death, but the pain was the last thing that was on his mind. Verse thirteen says, "Now when this man was dead, also they tormented and mangled the fourth in like manner. So when he was ready to die, he said, he said thus: It is good being put to death by men to look for hope from God." to be raised up again by him. Mm -hmm. As for thee, thou shalt have no resurrection to life. Mm -hmm. that's, that's something that only the elect have an expectation to look forward to. That's, that's something beyond this life. There, nobody in this world has that outside of the hopeful elect. Yeah. So it's literally nothing you can do. He saw to take away their faith, to, to you know, try to get them to turn against the Lord. There's nothing you can do. You know, somebody who, who, who with a mentality like that, there's nothing you can do to them. Right? Right. And the Lord got, uh, 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 and, you know, 144,000 of them out there. Yep. Okay? <laughs> and and more than that. Yep. So, you, you saw you do, do come on with the shit, man. Great. You know? We want to we wanna find out who one of those men. Just like, right. we, uh, what's that, a wisdom song, man? The second chapter, uh, so, well, let's go see. He say he's the son of God. Mm -hmm. This and that. Let's, let's go see. Mm -hmm. We know you in that spirit, so come find out. Mm -hmm. you know, we all, we all going to find out. They say, fuck around and find out, right? Yeah. Yeah. And we, Lord, and if you do take us out, <laughs> we go, Lord, raise up more prophets, and you're still right. going down. And then you're going to come back in the reincarnation. As soon as you come out of the womb, we're going to slap chains on your ass. That's it. <laughs> That's the ones we don't dash against the rocks as soon as they come out. Right. <laughs> you know? Let's be honest there. Uh, anybody got anything else? I got a quick one for you. Uh, this is uh, 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 8. <clears throat> we are troubled on every side, yet not distressed. We are perplexed, 
but not in despair, persecuted, but not forsaken, cast down, but not destroyed. All right, so, you know, knowing that in the times that's to come, when all hell's gonna break loose, man, and Esau comes down like a flood, man, you know, it's gonna feel like, damn, like, if you're gonna test the faith. Right. Your faith is gonna be tested. Mm -hmm. right. But really, you can't be in that what if spirit. Because right. if the Lord catches you in that what if spirit, then, you know, you, you're gonna have to face some judgment, man. But, you know, these kind of scriptures, that's a kind of mind, especially when you come into those times, because, you know, this is the Holy Book, and this, this is true knowledge, wisdom, and understanding that shall come for you in those, in those times. Jeremiah 29 and 11, it says, For I know the thoughts that I think toward you, said Yahweh, thoughts of peace and not of evil, to give you an expected end. Mm -hmm. that's, what we, that's what we expect. We expect in salvation, man. Mm -hmm. We're hoping in his mercies. You see? Um, next one is, uh, I'll go to Revelation. Revelation in 20th chapter, verse 6. It says, blessed and holy is he that had path in the first resurrection on such the second death had no power. Mm -hmm. For they shall be priests of the Most High and of Amashiach and shall reign with him a thousand years. So, we in that spirit of being delivered, man. We expect him to be delivered, <coughs> like the brother Ash was saying. You know, you gotta keep moving forward, man. Keep your hand on the plow. Yeah. Keep doing the way, giving all diligence to make a call on an election short. You know, and stand in the spirit, keeping the faith, you know, and, and pray, pray for the Lord to strengthen your faith, mm -hmm. you know, hey, keep praying, man, the scripture say, we can never go far enough, That's right. you know, so, all right, man, so we at the end, okay, mm -hmm. this, this, this thing is, the, the truth is out, the cat is out of the bag, mm -hmm. he saw you going down, That's there's right. nothing you can do about it. Get ready for slavery. Man. That's right. That's right. All right. <laughs> you rose out there. Keep pushing. Keep fighting. All right. Keep enduring. We love you. Stay strong in the faith. The Lord getting ready to, to make good on his promise, man. Mm -hmm. That he made to our forefather Abraham. Mm -hmm. All right. And to Isaac and to Jacob. Okay. So with that, we're going to give all praise, honor, and glory to. Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, Double honors unto our apostles and others of great millstone who will well. Much peace and blessings to the elect. Come on, Nasrallah. Come on, Nasrallah.